In the first three months of the year, you receive almost 64% of your annual revenue. That was gone, that was spent. In addition to that, there was a $4 million accounts payable at the end of February that this council also inherited. So we, we had to meet with quite a bit of um, uh, creditors and try to program and schedule out payments. Um, some of those have been cancelled. Some of them still remain on the books because they were larger um, electioneering expenses that were, that were undertaken by the previous council. We all operate in a city. A lot of business people pay their trade license, they pay their property taxes, and it is unfair to say that I won't live up or honor a bill because it was a previous council. That is the type of politics that we wanted to get away from, um, and that is not my style. However, we have to make sure that the, the council remains viable um, and can continue with its operation. Realistically, what we would have wanted to see is that over the years, you would have money set aside and provision for this sort of thing. Obviously, that was not in place at the council, so that is one of the things that, that, that myself and Mayor Wagner bring to the table and that we want to put in place because if the previous councils were being fiscally responsible and prudent, these payments that you know you will have to pay out eventually would have already been budgeted for and would have already been provisioned for. So, um, yes, it's, it's, it's a lot, um, but January, February, you know, is our peak inflows. But we have to manage it because we don't want to have these peaks and valleys anymore. We want to make sure that throughout the course of the years, your staff is not being stressed when it comes July to October to find money for basic payments. And that is what we want because then we will get more productivity out of our staff. Um, if during that period of time all you're worried about is trying to pay bills and pay salaries, then staff won't be worried about trying to get anything else done in the city. That is one of the changes that we want. It's a cultural change in the city council, I know, because it brings a more structured environment. And, and sometimes when you're taking the medicine, you make up your face, right? 